So today we are going to start exemptions month. After that, we will proceed to that uh, RCM and composition scheme uh, because my health is not that much good actually. So with respect to exemptions, uh, even my energy levels are low. Uh, the chapter uh, will go. But whereas with respect to RCM, it is a little bit dry area. Uh, so we need to, I need to have more focus on that. So that's why uh, we are just proceeding with chapter number four, but no harm in that. Uh, that means whether it is chapter number three or chapter number four, uh, both are actually not correlated. So exemptions is independent chapter. Ma. So even though the chapter number three was not completed, uh, uh, it does not impact the understanding of chapter number four. So no issue with respect to that. So that's why can I start chapter number four or is it mandatory to go in the same order that is there in the material? So can I start chapter number four, ma? Yes, ma. So exemptions. The question is here, why we need to learn about the chapter exemptions? Why, ma? Why we need to see the exemptions chapter in not only in CA inter or CA final, whatever the uh, course it is, whatever the stage it is, why you should learn exemptions? Sorry, ma. Yes, ma. To know. Okay. Any other? Generally, supplies can be here divided into two types, ma. One is uh, taxable supply, and second one is exempted supply. So, if at all. It is a taxable supply. The rates are here two types. Ma. One are normal rates and second one are second composition rates. Ma. Whereas exempted supply means nil rated supply, only exempt from supply and non-taxable supply. If you observe here, what is meant by the word taxable supply ma, in simple sense? Which is not a exempted supply. It is known as taxable supply. Yes sir. And what is meant by the word exempted supply also we discussed previously. What is meant by nil rated supply ma? Levy at the rate of 0%. It is known as nil rated supply. What is meant by wholly exempted supply ma? Levy at a specified rate but no collection will be there. It is known as exempt, uh, wholly exempt supply. And third one is non-taxable supply. That means no levy at all. Like uh, alcoholic liquor and five petroleum products will be covered under non-taxable supply. Whereas wholly exempted supply is the topic what we are going to discuss now. And nil rated supply, it is actually a practical issue like flowers, salt, those items. Uh, those items are actually the rate of tax itself specified is zero. And uh, anybody knows the difference between nil rated supply and zero rated supply, ma? That point also we discuss. What is the difference between nil rated supply and zero rated supply? Nil rated also tax rate is zero. Zero rated also zero. Then what is the difference between them? Generally, zero rated supplies means what is the position, ma? Exports and deemed exports. In order to increase the exports, in order to give some incentives to them, a special category that is named as zero rated supply was created. Even though there is no output tax payable, but still we can claim the ITC because zero rated supplies are deemed to be taxable supplies. So, if at all it is a taxable supply, it is taxable at normal rate, ITC is allowed on it. Whereas with respect to composition supply, even though it is a taxable supply, no ITC is allowed to the recipient. These are the composition rates, 1%, 1,5% and 1%. 1% of uh, aggregate turnover is with respect to manufacturer. 1% of taxable turnover is with respect to trader. 5% is with respect to restaurant service. These are the composition rates. Uh, if at all you have done the articles, 5% is more familiar with you or 1% of manufacturer. Okay. So even though you are paying the composition tax, as a supplier is paying the composition tax, why you are unable to get the ITC? Ma? Even though the chapter was not completed, uh, okay, out of practical experience, you can say it. Na? Why? Ma? 
even though it is a taxable supply, why the recipient will not get the ITC there? One person, no group activity, please. Being low tax. That's why no ITC is there. Okay, very good. Any other answer? Somebody? Yes, ma'am. No? Administrative? <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. Any other? Yes, ma'am, please. Ah, very good, very good. That is the answer. Recipient will not pay the composition tax at all. If at all you pay it, nah, then only you will climb the ITC. This 1% is practical. Okay, as per the theory, it is needed to be paid out of the pocket of the supplier. This 1% or 5% should not be collected from the recipient. If at all recipient did not pay the GST, then in which way he can climb the ITC? Ma? If at all you paid it, then only you can climb the ITC. With respect to composition tax, recipient is not paying any tax. Therefore, the recipient is unable to claim the ITC there. And with respect to exempted supplies, whether it is nil rated, wholly exempted, non-taxable, definitely ITC is not allowed. So that's why we need to know this particular chapter. If at all it is exempted supply, we cannot claim the ITC. So to know whether ITC is allowed or not, first of all, one should know whether the supply is a taxable one or an exempted one. If at all it is a taxable supply, obviously you can climb the ITC. If at all it is an exempted supply, you cannot climb the ITC. That's why one need to know whether the supply is a taxable one or a exempted one. Okay, ma'am. So, whereas with respect to exemptions, ma'am, which section gives authority for this exemption section 11 under our cgst section 6 under our igst will give the power to well give the power to give the exemption so exemption will be given in generally by way of a notification is meant by the word notification ma Notification is nothing but a delegated authority by the legislature to the government to modify the act. Yes sir, no? Generally, the tax rates, whatever the tax rates and all these things has to be taken care by the legislature. But whereas, uh, I already told you uh, with respect to one point, ma, uh, what is, uh, how to decide the GST rates, ma? That means they will be specified under the, the act or they will be time to time notified. Time to time notify. Okay, why ma? Why the rates are not specified under CGST or IGST Act? The maximum slab rates are there in the Act, but uh, with respect to how much tax that is uh, needed to be levied on this particular day will not be there under the Act. Why ma? Uh, they are actually day to day changing affairs. If at all they are there in the Act, it will be difficult for the government or the legislature to modify that. That's why. It was delegated to government. Upon the recommendation of GST Council, the central government will decide what are the rates that are applicable. In the same way, the exemption notification will also be given by the government. So it will be done by the way of notification. So what is meant by the word notification? Ma? It is a delegated authority by the legislature to the government to modify the act by using the power of this notification. So this particular section will give under CGST, CGST to give the exemption and with respect to IGST, this is the section that will give the authority to grant exemption. General exemptions can be divided into three categories major, general or specific, absolute or conditional, full or partial. Exemptions can be divided into three ways, general or specific, absolute or conditional, full or partial. 
What is meant by this general or specific general exemption? When the exemption is given to all, when the exemption is given to all the people, in that case, what is the position? It is called as general exemption. If at all it is given to a particular person or a particular company, it is known as exemption by special order or specific exemption. Let's say exemption was given to total software industry. It can be a general exemption. If the exemption is given to either TCS or Infosys, something like that, it is known as exemption by special order or specific one. And second one, absolute or conditional. What is the difference between these two? Absolute, without any conditions. To get that exemption, you need not satisfy any condition. Those type of exemptions are known as absolute exemptions. And conditional exemption, what is meant by this conditional exemption, man? That means on satisfying certain conditions only, you will get the exemption. It is known as conditional exemption. For example, take the example of national flag. It is a general exemption applicable to all and absolute one. And a full exemption also. Absolute one means uh, you need not satisfy any condition to get the exemption there. But conditional exemption, any uh, example you know, whether you studied in CA inter or whether you learn practically any conditional exemption example uh, majorly say with respect to a religious place the rent is less than or equal to thousand then only it is exempted otherwise it is taxable remember that one with respect to a religious place room rent is less than 1000 it is exempted more than or equal to 1000 full amount will be taxable like that you are able to remember that much so if the there is a condition but if the room rent is this much you will get the exemption otherwise you will not get the exemption and in the same way another example is my ah with respect to apartment maintenance if it only is less than or equal to 7500 it is exempted per month Apartment maintenance charges are more than 7,500, full amount will be taxable. Those are conditional ones. If the maintenance charges are of this much, you will get the exemption. Otherwise, you will not get the exemption. So, this one is conditional exemption. And in the same way with respect to full or partial. Full exemption means there is no need to pay any GST. It is full exemption. What is meant by this partial exemption? Ma? That means up to a certain extent, you are not liable to pay the tax. That is known as partial exemption. But here uh, in our GST till now, there are no partial exemptions. Ma. So if at all it is exempted, it is fully exempted. Otherwise, it is fully taxable. There is no concept of partial exemption was there. Just like when you were uh, not in CA inter, uh, when there was service tax, the concept of RCM was there. But 50-50 RCMs are also there. 50% of the tax is needed to be paid by the recipient, that is service receiver. 50% of the tax is needed to be paid by the, at that time, service provider. But there is no such concept. Here we are having 100% RCM only in our GST. But in service tax, it was like that. In the same way, exemptions are also partial. But now in our GST, there is no such concept. Ma. So practically, whereas theory, it is there. So, with respect to that, full exemption means if at all there is no need to pay the GST, it is full exemption. And if at all to some extent only it was exempted, it is known as partial exemption. And this is the point. Ma. And with respect to this, explanation can also be inserted by the government whenever there is a need arises. What is meant by this uh, explanation? Ma? What is the need of this? What is the need of this? Uh, in case of any ambiguity with respect to any exemption notification, whether exemption is applicable to this one or not, whether any uh, modifications are there, if at all any ambiguity or confusion is there between the trade members, in that case the government will give you explanation clause. Okay, these items are included, these items are not included like that. The question is here, say for example, on Feb 1st, we shoot the exemption order now. That means exemption notification. And we issued the explanatory uh, clause or explanation for that particular exemption notification on, uh, let's say, June 1st. 
from which date this particular explanation will be effective? Is it from Feb 1st or June 1st? They will have a retrospective effect now. From the date when that original notification was issued, from that particular date, this explanation clause is also valid. Generally, explanation clauses will have the retrospective effect. That is the point we need to remember. Okay, ma'am. And already we discussed these things. Now we are going to enter into our topic, ma'am. Exemptions with respect to goods is not in the syllabus, ma'am. We are having exemptions with respect to services only in our syllabus. Exemptions with respect to goods is not in the syllabus. Exemptions with respect to services only is there in the syllabus. But these are the few examples with respect to goods. Ma. Okay, even though they are not selling the syllabus, just naam ke vaste. So fish, milk, whereas milk packets are taxable. Ma. But milk is not taxable. Milk, if at all it was packaged, then it is taxable. That means Sangam Diary milk packets. But whereas whatever the milk that is actually provided by the milkman on a daily basis to us, definitely on them there will not be any GST. He brings them in the cans. Na? So that's why there will not be any GST. In the same way, with respect to rice also, on some 25 cages or 10 cages back, there is GST. Na? But whereas if at all it is a bulk bag of 100 cages, there will not be any GST. If you are able to recollect that point, uh, on rice, milk, there was a tax on GST. So, but with respect to milk, if at all it is packed in uh, retail packing, packets, then only milk is taxable. So, whatever, if you don't purchase a milk packet, uh, you will have a uh, milkman actually who is providing you on a daily basis, it is not taxable. In the same way, rice, uh, small bags, 5 kgs, 10 kgs, 25, those are taxable. Ma. But whereas 100 kgs rice bag is not taxable, comes under bulk packing. Retail packing is only taxable. Bulk packing is still uh, exempted. There is no need to pay any GST. And same point, potatoes means vegetables, grapes nothing but fruits, a national flag, plastic bangles. I don't know why the exemption was given. So I think uh, nowadays the people are not wearing. That's why in order to make them, uh, you know, no, no use of hiding now. Right? So generally, uh, nowadays the people are actually not using nobody is there only few members only few only few members are there so that's why in order to encourage them to wear the bangles so exemption notification was given as far as i remember nobody is there na? yeah yeah one or two members are there still okay fine so now just uh, we are moving to our topic of exemptions ma initially we will i will start with uh, healthcare because today my health is not good that's why i just I thought that it will be useful for me also so with respect to healthcare services what is meant by the word healthcare service ma Okay, just for that, I'm having another slide is also, with respect to exemptions, copying the notes is also um, useful, ma. if at all you want to do it, because uh, So now we are discussing about healthcare services here. With respect to healthcare services, what is meant by the word healthcare service, ma? First of all, diagnosis, treatment, care. What is uh, diagnosis? Means uh, first you need to identify the disease, and after that, for the disease, the treatment will be there, and after that care should be taken that means uh, post hospitalization let's say for example any person has uh, have went to the cancer hospital let's say omega is there in guntu so then if at all you are having some issue then first the, what they will do ma they will diagnose the particular body part uh, which you thought that there was some cancer cell biopsy it will be called as biopsy so then body part will be actually cut and it will be sent to the lab ma so then uh, after that they will do PET. So what is not, once the biopsy confirmed that it is a cancer, then they will do the PET map, PET. PET uh, what is this PET is? It will scan the, nothing but this is like the, 
it will scan the total body ma for action and for cancer cells not for the remaining things so uh, that means the cancer uh, cells actually will spread on a daily basis on a daily basis ma they will actually uh, spread to more number of points in lakhs ma so that's why they will check okay say for example if any person is having uh, one cancer set, oh, sorry some biopsy was sent from this particular place so what are the nearest body parts then they will actually in this pet they will see whether these particular cells are spread or not if it or it was spread then they will go for the treatment of chemo what we will call it as in chemo what they will do ma generally with respect to chemo they will send some radiation like things in our body to those parts where it was spread first so it actually chemo is not a cancer treatment ma it will initially kill the cancer cells that are spreading in the body once the chemos are done then they will come to the this main cell which is actually spreading them and for that what they will do they will do the surgery that will comes under treatment and after that the care will be radiation chemo is nothing but immunity booster and what is meant by radiation uh, what is meant by the word radiation ma once it was uh, surgery was done any some particles can be there na by using radiation uh, what they will do ma they will uh, nothing but this is like a fire on a particular thing and uh, it will complete man language cheppalante completely danni call cheyadu man just under the body part ni ekkada kuda black ga ipothun that particular area skin will be so that will comes under care after that uh, okay some precautions will be there you need to follow that it will comes under care essentially so diagnosis after diagnosis treatment will be there and after treatment care should be taken all these three areas will comes under healthcare services with respect to illness injury pregnancy abnormality deformity illness what is the difference between illness and injury ma ah uh, illness is internal whereas injury is external so generally external things can be um, dealt easy dealt with them but whereas internal ones whether it is uh, uh, with respect to medical treatment or with respect to humans also it is difficult to deal with the internal things so internal things to deal with always it is a difficult task yes sir mama so that's why illness for illness uh, all these things are needed with respect to injury definitely you can see oh, okay okay this one and you can go for that one treatment like that okay and okay third one and abnormality deformity what is the difference between these two ma abnormality deformity any exam any what is the meaning of yes ma okay psychological okay deformity uh generally abnormal it means abnormal child generally will call them as abnormal means uh, hypersensitive or some hyperactive uh, that means they will have some psychological disorders those people will come under abnormality generally and deformity is actually with respect to physical uh, like uh, handicap what is the word now we are using it for no no special special challenged person no 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 that actually the handicapped words was now prohibited instead of that the government asked it to use one word ma what physically challenged uh -huh. no no some special word is there ma those specially abled yes 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 specially abled persons special uh, no no disabled word ka specially abled persons that is the word the government asked us everybody to use ma previously we are using the word physically handicapped or physically disabled persons handicapped person like that but now those words are needed to be replaced by specially able persons so that those are the persons will be covered under deformity so with respect to that any medical treatment was done definitely it will be exempted the question is here sir every medical system in india is exempted answer is no ma if at all that medicine the system of medicine is recognized in india then only it is exempted if at all the medicine of uh, that particular system of medicine is recognized in india then only it is exempted otherwise it is otherwise it is taxable sir what are the recognized system of medicines in india 
అలోపతిక్ ఇంగ్లీష్ మెడిసిన్ ఆయుర్వేద నాచురోపతి యోగ సిద్ధ యునాని హోమియోపతి యోగ ఓకే యునాని ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ట్రెడిషనల్ మెథడ్స్ మా వనమూలికలు ఎక్సెట్రా దాన్ హెర్బల్స్ హెర్బల్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఓకే విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు హోమియోపతి ఆల్రెడీ వీ నో దీస్ ఓర్ ద రికగ్నైజ్డ్ సిస్టమ్స్ అండ్ దెర్ ఆర్ సమ్ అదర్ సిస్టమ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో యాక్చువల్లీ పాపులర్ బట్ నాట్ రికగ్నైజ్డ్ బై ద గవర్నమెంట్ మా దెర్ ఆర్ సో మెనీ అన్రికగ్నైజ్ సిస్టమ్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ బట్ ఐ అప్ టేకెన్ ఓన్లీ ఫ్యూ విచ్ ఆర్ మోర్ పాపులర్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ ఆక్యుపంచర్ what is this acupuncture ma needles generally it is uh, very popular for back pain very popular for back pain ma back pain ki it was a very effective one in ap tirupati i think and with the kerala it is more famous na with respect to kerala i think so kerala is most popular for acupuncture na yes, so with respect to that one is not a recognized system of medicine ma definitely what is the position it is taxable same way urine therapy gomutra i mean some sulfur or something will be there in that so if we use it kill cure so and so diseases so many uh, what are, we, we, we can't call it as rumor so, okay some uh, propaganda is there whether it is true or not i don't know but sulfur is there in that urine but whereas whether it cure everything or not we don't know that's why it is also a uh, unrecognized system and color therapy uh we'll call it what we will call this color therapy ma just we close the eyes if black was there if you are able to see then your mind is not actually good some red is there that is also not good but what is the color we need to see ma blue is the color if it all you, you are normal red radium color no no i think white na if it all you are uh, something i can't remember exactly but if it all you close eyes some um, red color is displayed in front of you or not in a good mood but every time actually close eyes it actually only red will be there i i don't know whether i'm in a good mood or not on every day basis okay <laughs> no the what is the color stars are there no black black means blank so actually black means uh, they generally blank the people are not th- thinking about anything at that time they just want to close the eyes and mind that's it. but there is i think sir white or blue i don't know rememberly green huh? ah okay green okay green uh yeah uh, no green is there no red red is there okay fine so with us that one comes under color therapy ma'am it is also unrecognized definitely it is taxable black and white ochne yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that one is very good ma'am so you are in the what you are in actually a middle of the thought actually in that case misongo fine and next one is reiki healing that is this is called pranic healing and uh, just like um, what i can say you will gather the energy from the nature just like my favorite uh, cartoon is a dragon ball shirt in that the hero name is goku chuna but it was my favorite still i am seeing it actually when the time comes i think it was there in jora tv joro joro tv na i think in website all the series are there whenever I, webs, all the series are there ma whenever time is just still i am watching it uh, general and saturdays so with us that in that particular uh, dragon ball shirt ma goku is a hero character he will gas he is a super saint he will gather the power from the nature ma so just like pranic healing is also like that one pranic healing is also just like that that means uh, there will be some live shows on the tv it is ambak but what is uh, it was there on the live tv okay if you tell him a problem he will actually do some acts in the air and he will say now your problem is going to be solved solved now it was solved the people say yes 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 it was solved i don't know in which way the problem was solved there but that one comes under reiki healing okay definitely that one will be taxable and gemstones and rudraksha therapy generally with respect to rudraksha ma faimuki if at all you are able to wear some medical properties are there ma for rudrakshas i don't know with respect to gemstones whether they are not but with respect to rudrakshas generally there is some medical values they are proved with respect to bp blood pressure and if you are having the short tempered nature definitely in that case um, uh, it is advisable to wear some faimuki generally i will wear faimuki ma so with respect to that because i am little bit short tempered person so in order to make me cool generally so some medical properties will be there generally with respect to that so and with respect to some migraine problem 
migraine is nowadays the students are facing, especially girls. Fine, with respect to them, in homeo there is a medicine that people are telling, but in English there are only painkillers. These people are saying that, okay, we will make a crown of some five muki. I can't remember the mukis exactly. Uh, they will make a crown of it, and if at all you are able to wear it for some 41 days, uh, one Sahasra Chakra or something that will be there here. The chakra, the total seven. In that one chakra, is there, it starts with S, it will be there here, and uh, that particular chakra's blockage will be removed, and thereby the migraine problem will be solved. What they are saying. I don't know whether it is true or not. Okay, then that one comes under Rudraksha therapy. It is also not a recognized system. It is also a, not a recognized system. Therefore, definitely it is also taxable. And most popular one in AP, Anandaya Mandu, Karuna, Nellur, Nellur. At that time, it is most popular. Na? Whether, it, uh, whether anybody has taken na, that one, is it uh, worked actually? That means, uh, after getting that, uh, this solved the issue, this medicine, anybody has, okay, no idea, any of your relatives or something has taken and recovered from COVID because of this, you don't know about them, okay, fine. So that's why government said that it is uh, not a recognized system of medicine, actually, it was a debatable issue at that time, uh, that samples were sent to the government and government said that no, it is not a medicine at all, we will not recognize it as a medicine, yes or no ma? So that's, that one comes under unrecognized system of medicine. If Mr. Anandaya has taken any consideration, then definitely it is taxable to GST. But I think he has given free of cost. Na? So that's why there is no GST. Because no consideration, it is not covered under 71A. If at all Anandaya has taken any consideration from the people, it comes under unrecognized system of medicine, definitely GST is leviable. And my doubt is here, what about this uh, cosmetic and plastic surgeries? It depends upon facts of the case. For the sake of beautification, taxable. As a part of medical treatment, definitely it is exempted. For the sake of beautification, so many heroes, heroines will undergo a number of plastic surgeries. Because they are a part of glamour world, as a part of profession, they need to undergo them. So as part of profession also, but still, it is a taxable one. But whereas medical treatment, uh, you do some fire accident, the body was born, in that case, uh, definitely uh, some plastic surgery is needed, just like in the movie Yavadu, in the movie known as Yavadu. In that particular movie, Ram Charan, no, no, no. Unversion will be converted to Ram Charan. In that case, it is a part of medical treatment. Therefore, Dr. Jesuda is not liable to pay any GST because it was exempted. Otherwise, Dr. Jesuda is liable to pay the GST there. Because it, is, it was done as a part of medical treatment in that movie. So, is it exempted or taxable, Madan? Definitely, it is exempted. So, any cosmetic and plastic surgeries that were done as a part of medical treatment, it was exempted. If at all it was done, for the sake of beautification, definitely it is it taxable or exempted, ma? Definitely it is taxable. In the same way, um, okay, with respect to one circular, with, uh, okay, very good. With respect to one circular that was issued, um, generally in the second wave, already told you that. Uh, just admitted in your hospital, ma, that is known as three hospitals in Guntur. Um, at the time, actually, I need to stay there from some 15 to 20 days. Okay, uh, let us assume that they charged me some 9 lakhs, for example. So, for example, so in the case, food is also included. Because at the time of COVID, generally, the, uh, with respect to remaining diseases, people can carry the food. But whereas with respect to that particular one, nobody will be there. Na. So at the time, many hospitals provided food to the patients. Ma. The question arises there, whether that food, let's take the example, seven lakhs is uh, medicines or something. What is that seven lakhs? One, nothing but paracetma. Oh, vision board is not eating my ass. Okay. Generally, the paracetamol and uh, what, uh, some steroids, ma, nothing but steroids. Generally, they're not for... Uh, COVID exclusively, some steroids are there, some medicine, 20 or 40,000 medicine is there, I can't remember the name exactly, Actually, uh, some injection, some, 
ah yes yes sir generally it is not for covid na no? it is actually blend of paracetamol actually and that one and some antibiotics actually antibiotic is not suitable for covid covid is actually not a bacteria so antibiotic will not work out but okay they will use everything on a trial and error method until your body cooperates so that is the way how the treatment was done at that time so for trial and error method they will charge you some several lakhs ma okay along with that 2 lakhs is for put the question arises here whether on this 9 lakhs are we liable to pay any gst sorry on this 9 or only on 7 or on 9 there is no need to pay gst the question is here this 2 lakhs which is charged towards the put is it exempted or taxable hmm i'm the patient now there then it is exempted that means apart from patient who will eat for 2 lakhs there so generally if at all it was done as a part of treatment it was given to the patient prescribed by the doctors in fact the food is also good okay okay at that time so that is the only disease where you can eat more eat more stay healthy is the covid uh, actually rule at that time so this food items that are provided at the time of covid comes under composite supply it will comes under composite supply do you remember the composite supply concept ma if at all it is a natural bundle it is a composite supply food is a natural bundle in that case definitely it is a composite supply what is the principal supply there healthcare therefore what is the rate that is applicable to principal supply will be applicable to total bundle healthcare is already exempted therefore food is also exempted that is the logic but there is sometimes except the covid uh, with respect to any other disease uh, helpers or attendants will be there na for them any food is provided by the hospital and for them anything is charged definitely it is taxable same point will be applicable yes ma part of employment means no no the, along with the patient the relatives who came to that particular uh, hospital with them definitely it is taxable and in the same way with respect to visitors generally what the visitors will do ma generally instead of bringing us apples they will eat the apples which is at that our in that particular table ma generally they need to bring some apples na to us instead of that some friends especially friends what the friends will do okay if at all we are actually uh, not that much good and we are admitted in hospital they will come to see us what they will say ma they are elazari uh, vrayadava fine this is the way how they actually console us actually in the same way, what is the apple that is there or juice that is there so i am a little bit thirsty so i am actually drinking it those visitors will be there those rascals who are the friends generally we will call them those people will be there ma so the question arises say any visitors has e uh, ate something in the canteen with respect to the hospital whether it is taxable or exempted ma definitely it is taxable actually just uh, some two months back just went to ramesh hospital smart guntu uh, one of our relatives was admitted there i just went some one or 130 i can't remember exactly time at that time the doctor was on rounds that means seeing the patients rounds means here <laughs> so don't meet us soon with our rounds generally so that's why nobody was admitted there Uh, so nobody was allowed to go there so i just went to the canteen which is there in the first floor the canteen was uh, there in the first floor in ramesh hospitals being uh, one o'clock na that's why i, I was uh, a little bit actually hungry at the time not little bit more being a foodie so at the time i just actually ate some two chapatis or something like that and after that many meals are there I just want to taste it that that one also completed after that uh, banana bhajis are there actually they are very hot at the time i had some plate or something after some bread halwa something sweet is there i can't remember exactly that one also eating after that much i got a fear that uh, definitely heat will be generated in my body that some less there ends uh, testing of the food that is there in this uh, ramesh hospital canteen and if it all is there any gst that is leviable on that yes ma because that particular canteen that particular canteen is run by ramesh hospital ma but still food provided to patients is only exempted if it all the canteen was outsourced to somebody else that was there at lalita super specialty hospital in guntur whereas in ramesh hospitals the canteen was run by the hospital itself 
But whereas in Lalita super speciality, which is there for cardiology and neurology in Guntur, which is famous, a canteen was outsourced. In that case, is it taxable or exempted? Taxable. Even the canteen run by the hospital itself is taxable. If at all it was given on an outsourcing basis, here it is purely a canteen service. Definitely it is taxable and hospital will not get the ITC. If any food was purchased from that particular canteen by this hospital, this hospital is liable to pay the GST, but in return, hospital is unable to claim the ITC. Why ma? Because outward supply is exempted. Yes or no? What is the service that is provided by the hospital ma? Healthcare service, is it exempted or taxable? Exempted. In that case, what is the inward supply here? For that inward supply for even though hospital is liable to pay the GST, it, it is unable to claim the ITC there ma, because their outward supplies are exempted. If outsourced by the hospital, supplier to charge GST to the hospital and hospital will not get ITC as outward supply is exempt. This is a point you need to remember with respect to healthcare services ma. I think uh, this slide, okay, another point is there, I will tell you. So, who will do these healthcare services? Clinical establishments, authorized medical practitioners, and paramedics will do these healthcare services. We know what is meant by clinical establishment, hospitals, nursing homes, something like that. So, in that case, Okay, so what is meant by this authorized medical practitioner? Ma? Authorized medical practitioner, what is meant by that? Doctors are covered under clinical establishments. Uh, RMP. It's not RMP, ma. So generally, these people will have the prescribed experience, prescribed knowledge of that uh, Indian doctor, but will not get the approval from Indian Medical Council foreign doctors, that means China MBBS, Ukraine MBBS, the people will study outside the country, na? those type of people will be covered under authorized medical practitioners. And what is meant by these paramedics, apart from nurses, which is there on the screen? What boy, Gathu? Fine. Paramedics means, what is meant by this paramedics ma? Pre-hospitalization or post-hospitalization service providers. Pre-hospitalization like lab technicians, blood tests, urine tests like that they will do now. Those people will be paramedics. In the same way, during hospitalization nurses and post-hospitalizations uh, like say for example, when we met, uh, seriously met with an accident and we were there on the bed for some two months or something like that. After that, one people will come to our home to do circus feet with our leg. He will ask, is there any pain? Is there any pain? He will stretch our leg at that time. So definitely there will be a pain for us, but he will say, is there? So that fellow, what is the name of that fellow, ma? Physiotherapist, post-hospitalization. Those people also will come under paramedics. So these paramedics will do healthcare services. So what about the ambulance services, ma? Are they exempted or taxable? Ambulance services. It includes air ambulance also. It air ambulance means helicopters. In Hyderabad, there are two ma. Air ambulances will be there where time is so much precious. At that time, say for example, body parts are needed to be changed. It should be done within hours. Now, in that case, uh, they will use the air ambulance there. So, air ambulance is also exempted. My question is here, ambulance services will be provided by two categories of people. One is the ambulance services that are provided by the hospitals. And second one is exclusively they will run the ambulance. Which one is exempt? One is ambulance run by hospital. Second one is ambulances run by Third, private parties, not of hospitals, which are exempted. Which type of ambulances are exempted? Both. 
both are actually exempted whether it is run by the hospital or third parties both are actually exempt and same point will be applicable to actually uh, with respect to you these are actually removed ma when i prepared the ppt it was there but uh, recently some one week back one week or five days back i see released the updates ma so huge number of updates are there in that so that's why i just want to incorporate everything so i start with exemption that's this one was removed and this one is also removed it was not there now so exemptions were removed that is a good news for you <laughs> so it was not there so those two are not stem cells i will explain you later on what is that so next point is with respect to that veterinary doctors so whatever the services that are provided by veterinary hospitals or veterinary doctors is also exempt and previously the concept of stem cell storage banks were exempted ma what is the stem cells means when the baby is there in the mother womb there will be a connecting tube between the baby and the mother ma once the delivery is over it will be actually uh, cut and it will be stored in minus 190 degrees centigrade why ma because any genetic diseases are there in order to cure those genetic diseases these uh, stem cells are actually injected in the body of the person who is suffering with genetic disease thereby uh, it can cure the genetic disease ma best example for this somebody will say even cancer is also cancer is also genetic further uh, that's why but how far it is uh, genetic it will be de decided by your body dna for that also there is a test to see whether it is genetic or not cancer generally if it all cancer is there to a mother definitely it will come to the daughter not to the son but it will come to the daughter almost there is every possibility so that's why genetic diseases oh yeah cancer is a genetic one ma but how much genetic it will be depends upon the mother body's dna that's why they will do the uh, just like uh, dna test to the mother who is suffering with cancer ma that that particular test will decide Uh, let's say for example uh, my mother in law is actually tested for cancer that's why i know all these things because i have taken her to hospital almost on a daily basis still uh, she is under actual cure mark at my home only so that's why i know this so that particular genetic test will have almost some 55% it shown us that means there is a probability that 55% her daughter will have the cancer that is the thing that is the way how the things will be there so this when comes under genetic if at all any person in those days there is no concept of the stem cell storage banks na if at all stem cell storage banks were there then we can inject these stem cells into that particular daughter's body thereby we can cure the genetic problem that is there previously it was exempted but from next attempt downwards this exemption was no more uh, now they are taxable previously it was exempted previously it was exempted but uh, five days before in the statutory updates what ics uh, actually in the statutory updates it was given that the exemption was withdrawn with respect to stem cells that means now it is 100% taxable that is a point so there is a possibility that it can be asked for your attempt only for next attempt onwards it is no more stem cells is now taxable but whereas when we prepared the material also this notification was not there ma so that's why whenever this particular point comes we need to update it please keep it on that point and next one is transportation of patients okay and um, rehabilitation therapy and counseling nowadays uh, stress ma the major problem actually uh, the people when i just went to these hospitals ma even some 25 years 30 years 35 40 uh, irrespective of the age the people are getting the diseases okay cancer we okay we can't say that but with respect to heart attack also uh, even the people are at the age of some 20 22 are getting the heart attacks because of stress ma nowadays because uh, now we are there in a world uh, that it is more comp not only competitive ma on every day basis you need to assess yourself day basis sometimes hour basis also otherwise uh, everybody will have a feeling that okay if it all i don't run that much faster i will be left behind the race nobody knows uh, how far this particular uh, race will end actually so for example when i started my life journey uh, at the age of 21 uh, 
my family monthly income is 1850 rupees ma 1850 my wife salary is the only thing for me at the time because i am there in ca inter only articles okay so because of that so that was income at the time i have a dream that okay fine number digit is uh, okay once actually uh, after few days or few months i just joined as a financial manager in a listed company ma i got there the number in five digits before qualifying CA. okay and at the time okay i thought that six number is actually sufficient for me so after that i just got the certificate and got the six number also then i just actually i moved to number 7 then because it is a race every time we need to fight but um, um, even sometimes also i felt that okay when but when particular my life was started 1850 is nowadays actually uh, one hour actually exp not one hour actually it is a fraction of 5 minutes expenditure now in today's world so that's why everybody at that time uh, even also i'm having a diary with me uh, just um, it happened in some 2005 okay sorry 2006 i was there in articles at that time so i am maintaining a blank diary my at that time in that time i wrote the expenses with respect to the child actually okay at that time i thought that 5 lakhs is sufficient for her study at that time but now actually her uh, schooling is actually costing me more than that so those are the days now we need to actually fight run run every day because of that more stress everybody is putting on their head actually getting them so many diseases even i am also having some issues because uh, after some whatever the issues i have faced in the previous scenario based on that i i just make my mind to run hard but making that much hard actually um, make me sick uh, in the age of before getting the 40 itself i got some issues with respect to the heart i got some issues with respect to the liver all these things are there only because of stress not because of habits man <laughs> even uh, in my neck actually l3 l5 were actually the two nerves will be there ave mane ante just actually mr enter din so mr chesina appudu ari pain yet ela because of stress generally we thought okay it let lalo just kuntu untam at that time so those are the issues nowadays ma for them there is a counseling now in future psychology will play a very crucial role ma even child children also even if we don't get the good marks they will be little bit dull not a little bit dull almost uh, with respect to um, my daughter ma i need to take the counseling of uh, what is called impact in masterminds also he will give some motivational speeches starts with the gampa yes i actually i need to because what is the problem in school actually she missed a rank so after that she felt she felt very bad that she thought that she is unable to do anything she is not eating anything she is not talking with the uh, any of the friends and all these things okay she is actually a little bit close to me that's why i observed that there is a change in her okay one day i asked okay what is the issue she told me all these things and cried at that time i need to start to gampa garu regarding the issue for a, uh, for a span of some one month or something like that every day i will make a call to him and give it to my daughter okay i'm think uh, i thought she is fine i need to continue that so nowadays uh, the people are actually having that much of stress from the childhood itself that is issue that's why these uh, therapies and these things these counseling are much more needed and definitely they will be there therefore all these services are exempted there is no need to pay any gst on them okay this is with respect to health care ma uh, anybody wants to copy it uh, you can copy it ma i will wait for a few minutes if it already is uh, what is the matter that is there in the material that is okay material order will be different from the classroom order ma so this is a healthcare sector what we are talking about and you can copy them uh, stem cells is not there in the order first one veterinary clinic second one clinical establishment third one ambulance service and two points are removed and another point ma this is clinical uh, biomedical waste that was removed what is this point the common biomedical waste when you met with an accident uh, generally uh, what they will do my doctors will do some bond bandage like thing na so um, once bandage wasting tarvata we are uh, what the after one month or two months 
definitely you can't actually remove it by your hand some saw will be there which is in round shape we need to cut it that one that one comes under common biomedical waste its recycling activities are exempted previously but now they are taxable that was exemption that was withdrawn from next item downwards please copy that one now No, ma. Uh, medicine is taxable. I'm a much doubt. Uh, with respect to ma, medical shops, whatever the sale of medicines that will be done by these medical shops is taxable, because it is not a healthcare service. As a part of medical treatment, whatever the medicines that are consumed at the hospital, they are only exempted. When the medicines are sold, then definitely it is taxable. Ma. Sale of medicines by medical shops is taxable. any other Okay, ma. Yes, ma. Please. Ah, with respect to hospital, no ATC, ma. She is asking me regarding the medical shop. Ah, hospital, I cannot get the ATC. Hmm. Oh, that means acupuncture. Let's say, for example, it is taxable. Definitely, you can get the IDC there. Whatever the medical items you will purchase, definitely can claim IDC on that. No issue. Any other ma? Any other doubt ma? With respect to healthcare services, and this is the circular what we have discussed actually. Um, so, food supply to a patient as advised by the doctor. Composite supply exempt. otherwise it is a separate one taxable attendant or visitor any reason definitely it is a separate supply taxable all these are the point this one is the circular ma that was issued at the covid time yes ma any doubt okay previously copying completed ma okay what is it in this is it completed ma okay okay am i is it completed ma
amount is always fully taxable unless otherwise law specifies once the amount exceeds it is always fully taxable Yes, ma. Any issue? What happened, ma? Any issue? Any help is needed from my side? Okay, ma. Please make it fast. After that, we'll move to the next exemption. Not every exemption is uh, this much big, ma. Whenever these uh, big ones are there, they are the most important ones. healthcare education something road transport like that those are some points are there which are single line ones they are less important there is a, no concept of unimportant will be there less important there is a little possibility that they will be asked in the exam okay ma can i move to the uh, okay okay fine using highlighter source very good what about uh, your friends ma two monkeys will be there na what about those two monkeys not coming today only one monkey was splitted from the group okay ma fine so i am moving to the next one then so the next point will be the charitable activities ma whatever the charitable activities that are done by the trust are exempted not all the activities ma so whatever the charitable activities that are done by the trust are exempted not every activity done by the trust is exempted ma whatever the charitable activities that are done by the trust are exempt what is meant by this uh, point ma already told you an example with respect to that so whatever the things that are done out of uh, charity that means without any consideration by trust it will be exempted like giving some donations to the poor people or giving food rice or something like that but i told you one example with respect to this when you go to a pilgrimage uh, not of my favorite one but general pilgrimage if you go to uh, like uh, sri salem tirupati navarepi there will be some religious insma satram we will call them as in telugu to that particular community uh, you can stay in that particular inn for that you need to pay nominal amount of for some thousand or 500 per day something like that here trust is not doing the charity na it is collecting some consideration those things are taxable in the same way with respect to religious uh, hostels will also be there na community hostels for them nominally they will charge something na so definitely them also tax what the thing that was exempted is what the thing that was exempted is here whatever the charitable activities that are done by the trust so with charity without consideration with love and affection what is the thing that will be done those things are only exempted that is a point you need to remember with respect to charity ma'am okay so the next point will be okay after that i will provide you the notes for that in this particular one only images will be there and here the point will be what is this point ma the process of conducting a religious ceremony is exempt the process of conducting a religious ceremony is exempt but before activities are taxable because his life is going to spoil that's why we will want to know everybody that one wedding cards will be printed that is taxable and in the same way uh, definitely being a lost smile on his face photography will be there that is also taxable last time he will heat the tasty food for that catering will be given that is also taxable 
okay being a uh, what we can say in his life uh, uh, lost uh, sparkles there that's why lighting was there because after that everything will be dark for him so that's why lighting was there to that particular mandap so all these things are definitely what is the position ma acceptable sir what is the thing that was exempted then the process of conducting a religious ceremony like priest whatever the things that will be done by the priest those are only exempted same point will be there with respect to ganga harati religious ceremony that one is also definitely exempted so the process of conducting a religious ceremony is exempt there is no need to pay any gst that is the point you need to remember and in the same way what is this ttd tirumala tirupati devasthana with respect to that any rooms are there those room rent is less than 1000 rupees per day it is exempted with respect to do any religious place rooms are given on a rental basis definitely what is the position ma it is exempt up to which extent ma if at all the room rent is less than 1000 it is exempted more than that full amount will be taxable like ram bagicha a v v v v v i p s will be there definitely the rent is 2000 3000 will be like that general rooms will be 1500 like that only na but in ram bagicha definitely the room rents are much more ma only celebrities vips will be generally those accommodations are not given that much easy 2000 3000 they will collect those things are definitely taxable and in the same way this one mandap keeper services kalyana mandapal in our telugu with respect to every religious place there will be a uh, convention center ma with respect to that particular convention center if the rent is less than 10000 per day it is exempted with respect to that convention center the rent is less than 10000 per day it is exempted more than that full amount will be taxable same point will be applicable to shops also with respect to a religious place shops will be there na selling puja items and uh, um, god pictures and all these things will be there na so with respect to that shop if the rent is less than 10000 per month it is exempted with respect to a religious place rooms are given on a rental basis the room rent is less than 1000 it is exempted only religious places we are talking about here and whereas with respect to mandap keeper services what is the position ma definitely per day rent is less than 10000 it is exempted with respect to a shop ma if the rent is less than 10000 per month it is exempted less than not less than or equal to if it all it is 10000 1000 then definitely full amount will be taxable unless otherwise specified once the limit exceeds automatically full amount will be taxable that is a point you need to remember ma unless the act specifies otherwise if the act remains silent then this particular limit exceeds automatically full amount will be taxable that is a point okay ma so with respect to religious place room rent is less than 1000 it is exempted with respect to mandap keeper services less than 10000 it is exempted with respect to Uh, shops less than ten thousand per month. It is exempted. The uh, next one will be hmm. Hmm. what is this? Amarnath Yatra, Manas Sarovar Yatra. Generally, Uttarakhand state government will provide services with respect to this one. So, whatever the services that are provided by Uttarakhand state government in relation to Manas Sarovar Yatra. is exempt there is no need to pay any gst so the services that are provided by uttarakhand state government the services that are provided by uttarakhand state government in relation to pilgrimage of manas sarovar definitely it is exempted there is no need to pay the gst fine so the next one will be it was removed mana it is no more has committee Do you remember Hajj committee services, ma? Generally, in Muslim community, there will be a belief that at least uh, once in a lifetime they need to visit Makkah, Madina. 
but being expensive one um, there was some committees that are known as hajj committees in them they will select the poor people from them and prepare a statement and will send the statement to the government now the government on a lottery basis will send few people to makkama on a subsidy basis but now this exemption is no more it was removed and next one will be whatever the services training or coaching services in relation to sports music painting definitely they are exempted their coaching or training services are exempted ma recreational activities like sports music painting with respect to them whatever the coaching or training activities that will be there they are exempted what about martial arts ma martial arts is it exempted or taxable taxable martial arts is exempted or taxable martial arts is exempted ma is the wrong answer because martial arts comes under self defense it is not a recreational activity generally we will use against the husbands na so that's why definitely what is the position ma it it comes under uh, self defense <laughs> generally it will comes under self defense ma it is not a recreation it is a recreation to you people but whereas with respect to other people they need to learn it for self defense yes sir no ma because you will use the weapons like apadal current all these things na so definitely it is much more needed for the people so uh, just like nanchak nanchak uh, you just sir yada so you will use the ah apadal current fine in our telugu fine okay those are the secrets of the families generally we will not reveal it to the outside people okay so let's come to the next point ma uh, what about cooking classes actually that are more needed than karate classes for you cooking classes that are much more needed na for you because many of you don't know cooking na you know the cooking how many of you know cooking ma how many of you help your mothers in the kitchen wow no <laughs> the okay what about cooking classes whether it is exempted or taxable because it it is not a recreational activity it is a punishment activity the people who will eat it so that's why it is not a recreational activity ma definitely it is also taxable so whatever the recreational activities that are there like sports music painting those are only exempted ma they coaching or training classes are exempted in the same way skill development programs that are conducted with nsdc national skill development corporation or ssc ssc means sector skill council definitely it is exempted ma what is meant by this uh, skill development programs ma i think when you were in your childhood days those were the days in those days there will be one advertisement um uh, actually uh, telugu lo uh, the advertisement will be sarpanch garu ippudiki ippudu english maatlaade vaallu ekkadi nunchi ostaru anagaani oka short girl vachi don't judge the book by its cover anagaani rim academy ad will be there at the childhood you don't have the much what is the link between that particular advertisement and uh, rim soap now you got a better idea what is the link between that ad and uh, ring company ma three subjects are linked to that advertisement hmm three subjects that means in your ca inter or ca final three subjects are actually relevant to that advertisement yeah anybody can tell me first one is csr in your law corporate social responsibility you need to incur that expenditure second one is your income tax section 35 ccd i think so 35 triple c is with respect to agricultural extension and 35 double cd is for the skill development uh, deduction pgbp ma profits or gains from business or profession in the 35 ccd na the section number 
skill development relevant 35 yeah, as far as i remember 35 triple c agriculture extension and 35 ccd is with respect to skill development so there you can previously at when that advertisement was there you can claim 150 percent weighted deduction if you incur 100 rupees as expenditure you can book 150 rupees as expenditure in pnl account that is called 150 percent weighted deduction when that advertisement was there the rin academy will get whatever the advertisement expenditure that is incurred by it let's say some 10 lakhs now it can climb 15 lakhs in its pnl account as expenditure that is 150 percent weighted deduction that if i double cd but now later on it was reduced to 100 percent now as far as i remember okay fine so with respect to 35 double cd and now the third subject is our gst so whatever the programs that are conducted by the dream academy in association with this nsdc the skill development programs like uh, self employment skills how to face the interview how to develop the communication skills embroidery works cell phone repair tv repair hardware repairs all these things those things comes under skill development programs those are exempted there is no need to pay any gst one of the most popular scheme is ddu gk wine deen dayal upadhyay gramin kaushalya yojana in bradipet there is an office i think near annamaya hostel something is there with respect to girls uh, near that particular place there is the office of this ddu gk wine that's why you may sort some t-shirts with this logo in bradley pet so that's why ddu gky is the most popular scheme where you can get that exemption and next one will be the services that are provided by news collection agencies like pti press trust of india is exempt because all these news collection agencies will work on service motive providing information to the Uh, public yes now let's say for example it's uh, some 330 or something like that mr putin has made a statement that whatever he will not withdraw from the war and he will continue the war until he gets a victory that's why in the last uh, minute uh, there was a sharp fall of the markets ma when i was there in the class i just received a message that mr putin said that so whatever the things he will that are required him to do he will do all those things to get the victory on ukraine and at the same time the european countries promised uh, ukraine that out of their own budget they will provide you the weapons two different statements definitely make it clear that the war is going to continue so we know this information why ma because of these people while i'm sitting in the class itself i got the information that yes this is going to happen i got this information because of this pta press trust of india like the, so many organizations are there news collection agencies we will call them as bbc is also apart from channel they will have the news collection agencies those news collection agencies will run on service mode that's why whatever the services that are provided by these news collection agencies are exempt definitely there is no need to pay any gst that is the point we need to remember yes ma fine in the same way now it was removed it was no more happy with respect to hotels inns guest houses clubs and campsites previously there was exemption up to 1000 but now it is no more the exemption was withdrawn it is taxable there is no exemption now ma with respect to hotel inn guest houses club campsite or other commercial places what is the position ma definitely it is uh, taxable now previously it was exempted up to 1000 but now the exemption was withdrawn okay ma'am fine and with respect to insurance with respect to few insurance services ma'am like uh, this is general insurance house insurance something like that ma'am generally those people will irritate us like that na that's why the symbol of that they just put that uh, animation there with respect to few general insurance schemes the list was actually provided there uh, so like majority cases these general insurances will be in relation to agriculture ma like hut insurance crop like insurance all these things all these general life insurance sorry general insurance services specific ones are exempted 
more or in relation to agriculture they are exempted same point will be applicable to life insurance also same points will be applicable to life insurance also some life ins micro insurance policies will be there na with respect to some 50000 maturity money like that even your income tax also they are there micro insurance policies we will call them definitely they are exempted there is no need to pay any gst in the same way so few life insurance services few general insurance services are exempted there is no need to pay any gst in the same way this one is incubator incubating what is meant by the word incubating ma what is meant by the word incubator uh, that one is not ma when the baby was born they will put in the incubator yeah i know the people will say same type of answers mm. so even after seeing this image also got that idea so here some people will have the ideas ma but they may not have the capital but previously it was a difficult task to start a company without a capital but nowadays if at all you are having the idea which can be commercially successful definitely there are so many people now to help you one type is venture capitalist uh so in the same way uh, cloud funding is also there nowadays all these people generally the movie in telugu chitralahari is a movie name in our telugu in that uh, hero he will develop a app ma generally whenever accident happens uh, to the uh, dear and near there will be sms that will be sent for that he will uh, do some ppts and show to the corporates na the corporates which will help that particular person is known as incubator the person who is receiving the financial assistance is known as incubating the person who is providing the financial assistance is known as incubator the person who is receiving the financial assistance is known as incubator after that uh, they will be called as startup companies after some journey initially they will be called as incubators only nowadays even cloud funding is also there na uh, what is the first telugu movie that was done by using cloud funding telugu movie which was done by using uh, cloud funding pesarattu yeah the movie maadi peyindi avarki telidu adi so and it was uh, directed by katti mahesh chanipet susera that fellow that fellow is actually very good person until he joined the politics he is a brilliant person scholar ba chadukuna vyakti but whereas uh, later on when he just come to the politics definitely Uh, those things will happen later on that is different story but that is he is the first person by using the cloud funding he just made a movie that is known as pesaret yeah cloud funding and uh, one of the popular uh, cloud funding websites are impact guru impact guru is a cloud funding website one of the most popular websites where if at all you are having the commercially successful idea then you can post it they will verify that and later on uh, they will ask the people to fund it so those things so the person who is receiving that particular financial assistance is known as incubating and the person who is providing the financial assistance is known as incubator so here incubating who is the supplier ma incubating located within the premises of incubator that means he will be there at his home huh? generally why this point generally uh, if you take the example of home loan ma home loan amount will be dispersed all at once or installments installment just like the funding will also be done in installments ma generally what they will do is uh, like uh, in in telangana t hub is there the big complex will be there in that particular complex like this uh, some open spaces will be there one cabin is there for you just like your study hours cabins M more or less that type of cabins will be there that cabin is your office until you start the commercial production you are the ceo and you are the office boy only you are the employee also in that particular place you need to that place will be provided by google say for example 
So now you need to do the project and uh, whatever the requirements they will ask you to do, you need to make it and you need to actually show them. After that, if they thought that it is commercially okay, then they will start the trial production. Once the trial production was successful, they will go to commercial production. Then you will be shifted to the office then. A new office. Then you will be called a startup company later on. So in the initial stage, it is incubating. He will be there in the within the premises of incubator. And with respect to the trial production, how much amount is exempted, ma? 50 lakhs. In the current year, up to 50 lakhs, there is no need to pay any GST. Sir, for that, any condition is needed to be satisfied. Yes, ma. In the preceding financial year, if at all your turnover is less than or equal to 50 lakhs, it is exempted in the current year up to 50. For how much period you can get the exemption? Three years from the date of entering into agreement. This is a point, ma. Please copy this one. After that, okay, can we can continue, ma'am? Okay, government will discuss this later on. Government, government, government. This was removed. It was not there. Removed. This one we need to see later on. This one is also. And this one we will see. What is this one, ma'am? This is exemption to 7.1b. Already we discussed it previously. Along with supply chapter. What is this 7.1b, ma'am? Importation of service with consideration. With respect to that, if the service provider is located outside India, and if recipient is any of these specified four, definitely it is exempted. There is no need to pay the GST. If the recipient is government, if the recipient is trust, if the recipient is individual for personal use, if the recipient is also located in non-taxable territory. In four cases, it is exempted. Already we discussed at this point at that time. So, uh, what is the example for government importation of service? I told you. Mm. With respect to Iron Dome technology from Israel, India imports ma, definitely it is the importation of service that was done by the government and it is exempted. Yes, ma'am. Fine. And what is the example for trust we discussed there? Basavat Arkham, Cancer Hospital. If it avails any foreign doctor services, is it exempted or taxable, ma? Exempted. And what is the example we discussed for individual for personal use? Mukesh Amban, Angela House, we discussed that one. It is for personal use, therefore it is exempted. And what about person located in non-taxable territory, ma? Very good. Special economic zones. Why special economic zones are created? For the balanced growth and backward areas development. What is the speciality that is there to special economic zone? We discuss. Once an area has been notified as says, it will be treated as outside Indian territory for all taxation purposes. So, we discussed about near Vaishak, Duwada is the area, ma. so that was declared as special academic zone. With respect to any items that supplied from Guntur to that special academic zone is there in Duwada, it comes under deemed export. And any item that was purchased from that particular says, it is deemed to be import. We discussed that one. Ma. So, that's why any imports that were done by the special academic zone itself from outside India, it is not taxable ma. because that outside India is that foreign country is outside India and says is also for a taxation purpose outside India. That's why there will not be any GST. So, uh, recollected those things, ma. Can I move further? Okay, fine. Next one will be circus, drama, not movies, ma. Drama, circus, drama, dance shows, circus, Drama, dance shows, yeah. music shows, what are the things? First one, circus, drama, dance shows, music shows, award functions and sports events. With respect to them, if the ticket price is less than 500, it is exempted, ma. More than that, full amount will be taxable. 
with respect to these areas if the ticket price is less than 500 it is exempted and more than that full amount will be taxable circus drama dance shows music shows award functions sports events with respect to them if the ticket price is less than 500 it is exempted more than that full amount will be taxable and with respect to few cases like uh, national park safaris or something like that and where our friends are there like zoo and museum tiger reserves with respect to them irrespective of the ticket price it is exempted zoo museum national park and tiger reserves with respect to them irrespective of the ticket price they are exempted ma whatever the ticket price that may be it is exempted but whereas with respect to previous cases what is the position ma Ah, uh, less than five hundred only exempted. More than that, full amount will be taxable. And this point, yes, this point is there. So supplier will be there in outside India. On recipient will be Reserve Bank of India, and the service will be Foreign Exchange Management Services. It is exempt because in India, RBI is the custodian for foreign reserves. Where to invest those uh, uh, foreign reserves? For, for them, they definitely they need some consultancy services. So, whosoever provides these consultancy services from outside India to Reserve Bank of India, definitely it is exempted. So, any person from outside India providing foreign exchange management services to Reserve Bank of India is exempt. There is no need to pay any GST. Any person from outside India. providing for foreign exchange management services definitely it is exempted there is no need to pay any gst in the same way what about this one ma calculator hey swiping machine what is the technical word pos point of sale so any transactions that was swiped or done through this pos up to 2000 it is exempted ma more than that full amount will be taxable if you swipe the card if it all it is less than 2000 it is exempted and if it all it is more than 2000 it is taxable ma that is exemption up to 2000 only it is exempted more than that it is always taxable and with respect to vegetables and fruits packing or repacking labeling or relabeling pre conditioning pre cooling waxing sorting grading previously fumigation is also there but now fumigation was removed from this item downwards it is not exempted except fumigation or rest of the things what i told you are exempted what are the things i told you packing pre packing labeling pre labeling pre conditioning pre cooling waxing grading sorting all these activities are exempted with respect to vegetables and fruits okay ma and all these points will be there if it all there we will write that later on yes ma next one will be storage of rice and sugar will be exempted storage of rice and sugar will be exempted even though they are non agriculture produce even though they are non agriculture produce rice sugar jaggery tea those four ma storage is exempted even though they are non agriculture what are the four items ma jaggery rice sugar and tea these four items are exempted even though they are non agriculture and what about this one ma combined studies huh? public library services are exempt there is no need to pay any gst so public library services are exempt there is no need to pay any gst ma so that's it for today we will see the remaining ones in the next class